haven't got the giggles. Hi everyone. Okay. Oh, are we starting? No, good. well we might as well now because we've been sitting here for half an hour. Hi everyone and welcome to March Favourites with Caroline. Hi. Who you've met before. Hi. Uh, what have we been doing? Oh my god. I we did a new, new what's new video. Yes, we did. And then we've got two pregnancy videos coming up. Mm-hmm. Because one of us is knocked up. Uh, right, my first thing, which is a quite new discovery for me, have you used this time bomb? I have used that. It's really nice. It is nice. Shot of chlorophyll. I thought this was going to be an acid toner type thing. Yeah. But it's not, it's more like a a moisturising swipe, isn't it? And this one is for uh, breakouts, clogged pores and dry patches because I use the Omega one that's more hydrating-y. That's interesting that it's for dry patches but also unclogging. Okay, I literally just blew a bubble up my nose. <laughs> I put it on cotton pad with these. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. But you could just kind of put a few drops... Oh, look how dry my hands look. You could put a few drops into your hand and kind of... Moisturise your hands. No, and then, and then, couldn't you? With that sound effect. Yeah. Oh, it smells like apple juice. Mm, well, now you got lippy on your hands. I was so, so tempted then to go boom! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I really like this. Nice. Um, I feel like I didn't do that many skincare favourites in the last one. Maybe I did all skincare favourites. I am losing my mind. She's so, totally lost her mind. What's yours? Um, what's your next let's one? start with something that isn't skincare for a change. Um, this one. Kai. Yeah. I had a candle by them. It was oh, really I've got nice. A candle, I love it. You are, Kai is like Marmite. You either love it or loathe it. And I love it. Why it's would you loathe it? Because it's really strong. It's gardenia. And lots of people kind of smell it and go, You love gardenia. Oh, don't you know you? what I'm like. When I say loathe it, I just maybe you're not as keen. But if you like gardenia, oh, sweet lord. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that doesn't come across as well because it's oh. just a bath product. Bathing bubbles. Right, okay, I have to say, I don't hate it. See? But I find that very granny-ish, the gardenia smell. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> See, I just, it just reminds me of sunshine. It's funny though, isn't it? Yeah. Because I always find it really hard to review perfumes or anything because it is so personal taste. Of course it's personal, but you know, I suppose if you've used, if you've used Kai and you like it, then the bathing bubbles is delicious. If you're not a fan of gardenia, you ain't gonna like that. Whereas if you hated this, you'd have to be mad. This was in her last video. Check She's out Caroline's video. Joe yes. loves. Our last video, not your last video. Joe loves white rose and lemon leaves. Oh, that does not smell. Does that smell nice, lady? Yes, yeah, very nice. Thank you. Mm. I have to say, right, lush bath stuff, mm -hmm. bath bombs, bubbly hubbly, yeah. all those things. Do not get it. Okay. I cannot stand them. I like them. Do you? Uh, okay, I love the smells. There's a couple of them that I don't mind. I'm not a big bath them. girl, Ooh. I'm a shower girl. Right. So, I love the smells, but they get used by the kids. Right, okay. Ava and Daniel fight over them. Do they? Proper, full-on, sibling, so funny. loud rows. So, but that goes, so, do you think it's a younger audience that they appeal to? I'm sure it's a younger audience that they appeal to for the price. Points mm. and it's always full of younger people. And it's very colourful and, and fun. it's very colourful and fun names. Yeah. But there are a lot of um, older women. You know, when I've been in lush shops, I always see people my age in there. Wow. I see. I like the smell, but I quite like a sweet smell. Maybe they're buying this. But, well, there you go. Because they are winning me over with their skincare. I love Ultra Bland. Yes. And this, which is the gorgeous facial moisturiser, I'm slathering on because it smells all. Oh, wake up again. Um, orange blossomy, orange flowery, doesn't it? Orangey something. Oh, yeah. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is the one that they made for Princess Diana. Hey. Can I just take a bit, please? Thank yes. you. Yes. It's about thirty-four quid, isn't it? It's not like six or seven pounds. Yeah, house. it's not. It cheap. is that one. It's the one they made for Princess Diana. Hold on. It says. Uh, oh, the original people behind Lush. There's a story there. Only the very best will do. This is our ultimate face cream. Yes, it's that we one. don't hold back, and we use the very best, most effective ingredients in nature's store oh. cupboard. Oh. No, it's nice. So yeah, I like this. Almost purely for the smell, oh. but it's a very kind of lightweight but effective moisturiser. See, I, as well. I, I, the smell is okay, but I don't know if I could wear it as a moisturiser. Really, because it's too much. Yeah. No, I mean, it's not. It's not even too much. It's it's just kind of that smells a bit oldie lady to me. Dare you. You've said it to me like 15 times over the last few videos. Should we do some cleansers? I'm really uh, kind of befuddled at 
that green lidded thing that you've got there. This, oh, you're gonna love that. I know. Do that next. Do that. I'll oh, do this next. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is uh, Clinique Mild Clarifying Lotion. Yeah, but you see, I put this. Note, note the word. What does that say? Oh, for delicate. Because it's delicate and non-alcohol. Yes. Oh, um, really? Yes. I. Is this new? No, no. It's just it just gets hidden behind the ones that are extremely paint strippers. Just different, different. Um, I put this on my Instagram, and it, the comments went into meltdown. Like, oh, I can't believe you're using a Clinique clarifying lotion. I was like, I'm not. It's the mild one. It is very nice for um, a gentle, mild, acidic toner. Mm. It's good for people who can't tolerate glycolic. And what's just, it got in it? Well, it's salicylic, so technically you can't oh, use it. Yeah. Um, but we both know that it would be completely fine because it's just on the surface. Uh -huh. But whatever. Uh -huh. um, so it's salicylic acid. So if you get zits like breakout city and blemishes this might be better for you than a glycolic acid toner but they do some amazing products for people who can't bear any fragrance mm. and have sensitivities you know you can cherry pick that's all i'll say but yes i knew you'd freak out when you saw that sitting there only because i didn't know that existed yes well that's the problem a lot of people don't and the salicylic and the normal ones make my eyes stream with tears they make me cry too much alcohol yeah. but this is alcohol free and it's salicylic acid so you have to give it a shake because it all separates so give it a go if you're a zitty person so could you add that to kind of favorite acid toners yeah uh, yeah yeah mild totally. acid toners totally mm, very nice surprise <laughs> what's your next one uh my next one would be this which is the aveda botanical kinetics energizing eye cream you're obsessed with eye things raced recently. I you? am, yeah. Um, what do we like about the eye cream, Ruth? Oh, I was just thinking, how nice do I smell then? And oh I went my god! Oh, oh wow, I'm gonna play this back to you. Back in the room, back in the room! It's not, do you know what? It's, texture wise, oh it's not I keep things up my nose. the it's... best texture that I've ever used in that it doesn't, you know, some of them you spread and you're like, oh, oh it feels amazing. Yes. It doesn't. But it sits fine under makeup, it's absolutely fine, but yeah. it's not the most pleasing in texture. It's not that emollient, it's not But that. the, um, it's a very kind of comprehensive eye cream, the ingredients look really good. Yeah. Uh, and it's in a tube, yep. which I like. Yep. And... It's hydrating it but does, not greasy. Because uh, I've been trying out a different one that was, that was brilliant for making it look very moisturised, but did nothing for anything... What it's supposed to do. Cos more cosmetic like the dark circles and things like that whereas that has made them look a little bit brighter I see think. I always struggle with dark circles because mine are so genetic and I'm just I was born with them probably I don't think anything can get rid of them no so it's always the but main it's made the me. skin look a little bit just more alive <laughs> yeah so Royal and Lang Nickel this is the Revolution BX00 brush I like a bit of a good heavy powdery chunky brush feel that uh, do you buff in your face powder with this? Your well, bronzer. When something? you're not doing a five minute makeover and you end up looking like this, yes. <laughs> it's nice, it's got a nice feel. Yeah. How much is it? I don't know because I got it at iMats and it was oh, in a big set. Right. So uh, I got it, it at iMats. It feels like it should be about 70 quid. Or uh, I don't something. think they are though. I don't think they are. That is a weighty brush. Yeah, isn't Royal it? and Langnickel. Yeah, it's love. really nice. I'll, do, I'll put some links. Who's this? My video or your video? This is your video. She'll have to put the links. Excellent. <laughs> Woo. Uh -huh. Next. Um, Argan oil from Neil's Yard Remedies, organic. Went on about this. I'm going to put it against you so that you can see it because it's dark behind us. Yes, put it on your breasts. Um, I went on about this loads last year. It just always, it's oh, just I'm really um, simple. Yeah. Is and it proper argan oil or argan uh, oil? Yeah, it is so, so ethically sourced as well because I went with them to find out where they source it from. Oh, as you do. Uh, it's about 20 quid. For a bottle yeah. and the bottle lasts for ages yeah which i think and are you using it all over or what are you doing with it what my body yeah just anywhere where are you using it oh right i'm just using it on my face and down onto my chest right. wasn't a difficult question really i i, I thought it was a trick question <laughs> this is really gorgeous stuff so you know if you're gonna go for it with one ingredient get a at least do it well speaking of gorgeous i couldn't decide so i bought two you if, always cheat on these. If you, you always say that about me, just get used to it. <laughs> if you follow my Instagram, you will see, I would say four days out of seven, maybe, a Tata Harper cleanser. I can't decide. A tata. Hakuna Matata. 
Oh What's a wonderful phrase? Do, 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 do. You're going to be so sick of Disney in a few months. I'll give it this time next year. You'll be Ain't like, I cannot no watch another Disney craze. film. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Okay, stop. I have to put that down now. I'll <laughs> be like, uh, yeah, that we we have no copyright over it's that. It's a problem free ah, philosophy. This is what it's been like all day. Hakuna Matata. Um, so <laughs> well, at least it's not frozen. Because I get sued for singing that, probably. Okay, so Tata Harper makes at the moment my favourite cleansers in the entire world. That's a bit of a sweeping statement. Yeah. But they are nourishing oil cleanser, purifying cleanser, and there's a regenerating cleanser. You cannot find anything wrong with any of them. Mm. They are all amazing. It depends on my skin. It depends on the day. It depends on the time of night. Or, you know, basically if I'm wearing makeup, if I'm not. But, oh, just put a little bit of that on your hand and have a whip. Which one are you using in the morning and at night then? This is your morning one. This morning, and I can use nourishing oil in the morning. Oh. Don't skin massage gently. Again, like that Zellens one, mm. it's almost like a but face treatment it, that you don't even it. need to. Oh, <laughs> see, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, it's an American brand, isn't it? Yes, from Vermont. So it's not wildly available in the UK. It's oh. all over the US. But oh. where can you get it in the UK? Uh, you can get it at Being Content, Cult Beauty, and. There's another place. What's good Natural about Simo? it, as in, um, as in, <laughs> why has my voice gone funny? What, non-toxic? I'm not a fan of that word. No. And I've said that, but I actually do not care because it's, it's obviously, it's all organic and natural and da 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 da. And there are no chemicals. And they did a, a Christmas video, which is probably still up on their website of them actually eating the product to show that you can, that it's a clean as you do. range. As you As one does. Which is what I'm about to do with my Laura Mercy no. Radiance primer. No, 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 no. we'll have to go to A&E. But, uh, yeah. Oh, just, that smells gorgeous too. Oh, yeah. It's, I'm telling yeah, you, lovely. it's a How love chest. These are around, the, there's two sizes and they're between like 40 and 60, depending on the size. Okay. So they're not premium cheap. Premium stuff. It's premium, but I'm not even, uh, I kid you not. <laughs> <laughs> and I started I off. I was a young bulldog. <laughs> When he oh was God. a young Do you need some water? Would you like some water? No. Is that your last thing? No. I've got two more hidden here. Oh my God. Look what time we're on. Like 45 you minutes. You just sang for 20 minutes of it. Mm -hmm. Laura Mercier, Radiance Primer. If you look at my Get the Glow video, I basically uh, use two primers on top of each other just to show what they're yes, like as primers. Do. But then when I looked back at the edit, I was like, I haven't even put any, I've forgotten to put foundation on top because they were so good. But it looked good. It looked amazing. Really light reflective, but natural and non-shimmery. See, if you've been in the industry as long as I have, you remember when Laura Mercier only made one primer. Which was? Foundation primer. Oh, I that don't like it. that as much as this. Then it I'm became oil free and... Oil cleanser, so that's working. <laughs> okay. My turn. Yeah. Stop yourself. <laughs> right, Tatcha Gold Camellia Beauty Oil. Da, da, da. Have a bit of this, please. Not that I had this one. She's still singing Lion King here, people. Um, I use a teeny bit of this in the morning under my moisturiser if I'm feeling a bit dry. It's a dry oil. Not really, it's an oil. But it's it feels not, very it's, light. Yeah, it's not greasy at all. Uh, apply a few drops anywhere on the face, to decolletage, body or hair for deeply hot, nourishing hydration. So yeah, it's just a really nice oil. You get a nice glow. It has gold in it, but I'm still not convinced about the powers of gold in product. Always believing. Now we're on Spandau Ballet. Um, but yes, Tatcha Gold Camellia and Camellia Oil is one of my favourite oils. That's probably why. Love it. Mr. Bear wants to go out. Mr. Bear. Dexter wants to go out. He's only just done a poo. I just don't know. You... No, he's having a stretch. He's fine. Oh, right. He's stretching. Last one. Uh, Burberry BB Cream. Mm -hmm. Did a post on this. I don't think that I... Hopefully I didn't put this in last month's favourites. To be honest, I can't remember what I do one week to the next. Uh, just really, really, I'm not a BBCCDDEE -E -E more in your case, love. Um, <laughs> 36E. <laughs> what, I told you. Um, wangers. <laughs> not a massive fan of all of this. It's just marketing. Yeah, of course. Just give me a tinted moisturiser, mm -hmm. you know, that looks good. Uh, which is pretty much what Burberry have done with this, which is the fresh glow. You've just done that hand. Do you put some here somewhere? Here. I'm not ambidextrous though, so it's hard. <laughs> uh, this is in medium. 
Mm -hmm. And it's just got a really lightweight, they're so claggy some of these things. Yeah, they are. And this is just really lightweight, blends out really nicely, love it, love it, yeah, love I've it. Yeah, I've used all your wipes, there you are. I can yeah. show you one more, but it's a big one, it's not the one I was going to show you. Oh my god, is it the one that's yes. going to make me squeal? Yeah. <laughs> so this, ta-da, is the Charlotte Tilbury Norman Parkinson collection which I went to the launch last week with Charlotte and it is like, you know when someone knows what they're doing, it's, so it's Jerry Hall from Vogue 1975 in a makeup bag and there's a beach bag as well which made us all go like, <gasps> big PVC, kind of this shape, just steal Ruth's bag, but PVC with a, oh my god, just with the image of her diving mm. and then what you can't see here this was made for the event so these aren't even going to be can for we sale hold one side of it yeah these aren't going to be for sale which means i can never use it because it's limited edition obviously i'll stash it and ava will sell it when i'm dead <laughs> or probably before if she gets her hands on it <laughs> she but, won't she'll be there using it she <laughs> bloody won't so there's it's all this limited packaging and then all of the compacts there's a story behind them all they're all norman parkinson visual so there's carmen de la Rufis. Mm. From Vogue again, mm. 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 and that is like this amazing glow that's powder amazing. that's just like shimmery, iridescent, and oh, the whole thing is. See if we can get that out because it kind of sticks. Um, and then this, we're just fighting the box. Do not break it, Ruth. No, I'm not going to do it because I am going to break it. There. Oh. This is 1975 red. Hmm. Brace yourself for the pretty. Oh, matte. Oh, it's like a matte orange. Can we see? It is. <laughs> you are so, so <laughs> off on one today. You know oh, that, Hakuna you? Matata. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to give a credit to Lion King. Come here, the There we go. Oh, you look oh, like Lion yes. So, is this my channel or your channel? Your channel. Yeah. Just so you can say goodbye then. Thanks oh. for watching. Look at the camera. Ruth sing for 10 minutes of this video. <laughs> and uh, from me and Dexter and Ruth and the bump, <laughs> are we going to have time to do another one before you drop? Well, not the rate we're going. Not we'll <laughs> still be here. You'll go in the labour we'll soon. We'll still be in March favourites. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> we're going to go and film some pregnancy stuff now yeah. when I've made you a cup of tea. No, I'll have the tea. You won't drink the tea. Let's just carry on, otherwise, we're never going to get okay. it done. Bye!